Welcome to the CA Unified Infrastructure Management Dashboard videos. This is the first in a series of five videos that will show you the basics of working with dashboards. This video will show you how to create a dashboard so that system data can be seen in a readily understandable form, and then we'll look at how to customize the canvas to make the dashboard customer specific. Dashboards allow you to convey important network information quickly and clearly. Dashboards can be designed to organize and emphasize important information using graphs, alarms, icons, and global views. Creating a dashboard involves a number of steps, taken in a specific order. Here you can see how design elements interact. The first step is to create the dashboard, called the canvas, and then define the space on which to work. With the new canvas prepared, elements, called widgets, are selected and inserted onto the canvas. Widget details, such as size, position, and labels, are easily determined at this point. Data sources are created to define the metrics to be represented by the widgets and then assigned. Next, characteristics for the data display are set for the widgets. And, finally, the dashboard is saved, published, and, if appropriate, exported. This is an example of a basic dashboard that is used to display information about CPU, disk, and memory usage. The upper part of the dashboard contains shape widgets that are assigned colors to reflect current alarm thresholds. The lower part of the dashboard displays the source data in different types of widgets. Once you're familiar with dashboard elements, you can expand the layout and include other elements. To begin creating a dashboard, open the Unified Management Portal, or UMP, by entering the server IP address in the browser address field. The dashboard portlet in UMP allows you to create, view, and share dashboards. Select the dashboard portlet, and then click on the new button to create a new dashboard. We've previously created a blank dashboard to work with called, Sample Dashboard, and you see it listed in the Open Dashboard window. You can open the dashboard to make further changes to it, by clicking the Open button. Let's open it and continue with our dashboard. In a new or existing dashboard, you can customize the canvas for the dashboard display. Select the Canvas Properties icon to open the menu. Now we can set the size of the canvas according to the way the image will be displayed, or accept the default dimensions. Notice that, by default, the grid is turned on, to help you align widgets on the dashboard. Additionally, a Snap to Grid option is also turned on by default. If you don't want to align widgets to grid lines, you can turn the grid lines and snap to grid options off, or set a new spacing for the grid lines. You can also change the color of the grid to a more visible color. The grid will not show in the live view mode, it's just there to help you align elements in the dashboard. For now, we'll accept the default grid settings. You can now add a background image by opening the background menu and clicking the background image button to show the image gallery. Using a background image is a good way to brand your dashboard. It's important to remember that the background image will be placed at its saved size and resolution, so you might need to work with the image before importing it into the gallery. If the background image you want to use is not in image gallery, click upload image, then navigate your system and find it. In this case, We'll leave the canvas without a background, adding one later, when we need to customize this dashboard for a customer. The next video to view in this five-part series, is Create Dashboard Widgets. You can also learn more about creating and using dashboards within UIM by registering for the course titled, CA Unified Infrastructure Management, Advanced Presentations.